candlestick analysis allows the candlestick investor to see what is going on in investor sentiment at appropriate uh, support and resistance levels. For example, you can see the NAS or the Dow had a downtrend in progress, and there was a doji telling us there was indecision when it reached that level. Then the simple rule of the doji was it was going to move in the direction how they open after a doji with it selling off and closing back below the 50, which has been acting as a resistance level, and closing below the T-line, the probabilities were that the market was in a downtrend. And the change of those probabilities only occur when you see a candlestick buy signal and a close above the T-line, which in this case has not occurred. So there's been plenty of times, such as on Wednesday, where the bulls started stepping in, but notice where they failed, right at the T-line. When you see trading right up to a T-line and it fails and starts back down, that tells you the trend is still in progress. The same scenario can be applied to the NASDAQ with a failure right here at the 50 and also a trend resistance right along here, a close below the T-line then a failure to ever get back up above the T-line. And again, notice what it did on Wednesday. Came up, failed right at the T-line. Now, the reason this is very relevant is that nobody has the T-line on their charts, except we use it as a candlestick investor because there's a simple philosophy. The T-line acts like a natural support and resistance level of human nature. Candlestick signals are the graphic depiction of what's going on in investor sentiment. When you combine those two, you have a very powerful, high-probability analysis tool. Right now, as you can see, the uh, markets broke this little support level, telling us that we are probably in, uh, an ex in a downtrend until very simple strategy, until we see a candlestick reversal signal and a close back up above the T-line. Knowing that the market in general is heading down, that makes witnessing sell signals, especially at a resistance level like the 50-day moving average, and a close below the T-line, much more uh, powerful as far as telling you what the direction of a price move is. Not because of anything fundamental. It's because this is the graphic depiction of what's going on in human nature. We shorted uh, Wayfair. We bought puts and we bought put spreads with the idea that the first target should be back testing the new or the recent lows. The second target, if it broke that level, was still heading down into this trend channel. Once again, being able to analyze what's going on in investor sentiment and analyzing what the overall general market is doing allows a candlestick investor to be either long on or short based upon the probabilities of the overall uh, candlestick charts. Knowing the difference between uh, just a pattern or just a trending stock, if we can identify a dumpling top, notice how this is a slow rounding top, telling you that investor sentiment is starting to wear out and start turning south, this is the area where investor sentiment starts getting panicky and creates very big moves one way or the other. In this case, a dumpling top to the downside, whereas a fry pan bottom would have that same force to the upside. That same scenario can be seen in our recommendation to be short in LITE. Notice kind of the dumpling top. And also notice that every time they come up to the T-line, they fail. Stochastic still heading down. It's in this area that allows for that investor sentiment to really get panicky or get tired, and they start selling off hard. This is where uh, being ready for a strong short position is viable because this is what happens to human nature. When things keep getting weaker and weaker, as we can see in the dumpling top, everybody starts bailing out. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.